Morning guys and gals, Froggy here. What's that on my desk, you're asking? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to test three, well, four um, OBD2 scanners. These are all claimed to work with an Android smartphone, which is what I'm holding in my hand now, uh, filming the, the video with. And they're all Bluetooth connections and I'm actually only going to film three of them. Let me show you this. This one has already gone back. It was called BAFX Products Bluetooth OBD2 Scan Tool and when I plugged it in to my Corvette it did not light up and it also caused about a dozen error codes or, or diagnostic codes on about five or six different modules in my car. So it was clearly dead on arrival. I sent it back. I did get a refund on it. Don't waste your money on this one though. It got, for some reason, it got very high uh, score from other, um, other customers. Uh, the customer feedback that you get on Amazon. Beats the heck out of me. Got a high score, but didn't work for me. So you've been told by Froggy. Uh, now these other three, I'm going to take them one at a time, and I'm going to uh, plug them in, see if I can make a Bluetooth connection with my phone, and then see if I can uh, read some data off my car. So let's take them out to the car. By the way, each of these uh, has a disc that has no markings on it whatsoever. Um, I don't recall that this one had a disc with it, uh, and uh, each of them comes with zero instructions or user manual or even a page, uh, a quick start page. So I'm going to uh, just fool around with them. I guess I'll stick, uh, I'm going to do one at a time, just so they don't get all mixed up, and I'm going to put this uh, CD into my computer and see if some instructions come up. I assume that's what will happen. This is the disc from the Sim Valley Mini, the first one I'm trying out. And it's got a bunch of folders. It's got one text document. I opened up, it says, um, I don't know if you can read this or not. We suggest that you can use Scan Tool, da da da, if you think that this software isn't easy to use. You can free to choose following software, and it gives you one, two, three, but them require a license, and license is spelt wrong, so um, good luck with this. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just going to go plug it in and see if I can pair it up to my uh, smartphone. Okay, we're in the car. The, the OBD2 port, follow my hand here, is right underneath the steering wheel, just about in the center. The way most of these devices work is they get their power from the car, from the OBD2 port, and this one is going to be the same way because it doesn't have any power. Uh, I can see a chip inside there. Uh, so what you do is you plug this into the OBD2 port, and you turn the key one position to on, don't start the car, and then... Uh, I'm going to have to go off camera because I'm going to try to pair it up to the to the smartphone that I'm using here. Okay, so let's do that. Let's see. Don't see any lights that light up on this one. Some of them have lights that light up. Uh, okay, give me a second here. I'll reach on. Okay, I plugged it in. I haven't turned the key yet. It does have a red light that came on, so that's a good sign. Uh, maybe I'll try to pair it up now before I turn the key. I'm back. Well, I couldn't get it to pair up with my phone. Um, I opened up the Torque application. The Torque app, app is what's recommended by all, pretty much all of these tools to um, diagnose uh, and look at different data from your engine. Uh, but it didn't pair. All I did, all I got, was a message that said that this was not paired with anything. 
uh, oh no, excuse me, I got a message from Torque that said that Torque was not paired with any other device. So I'm going to go back to my desktop computer and go on, so, go on a forum or something or try and figure out, maybe call the manufacturer. Good luck with that. Probably in China. Anyway, try and figure out how to get this thing to work. I'll spend a little time on it, and then I'll move on to the next one. Well, I uh, I read all the comments on Amazon, and uh, nobody knows anything about connecting it to my particular phone, which is a Moto X Android phone. Uh, there's no phone number for Sim Valley. Uh, so I'll go out and give it one more try. Uh, I looked on the CD uh, disc and I couldn't see anything, any file name that was titled like Bluetooth connection. So if there is anything on there, it's buried a few levels deep. Uh, so let's go try it one more time and then we'll move on to the next one. This time I'm going to uh, open up the Android app. Uh, on the phone and then I'll plug this in and uh, turn the key and see if that makes a difference the order that you do things I'll have to go off uh, camera and I'll get back okay I'm shooting this with a different camera uh, because that's the smartphone that I'm using for the OBD2 reader and app and I hope I'm going to be able to stitch this together into one video. But anyway, as you can see, it's working. I'm not going to go much past this um, because it's a little complicated how you put it all together. You can display different uh, gauges on the smartphone and uh, you can get error codes, history codes, uh, current error codes, and so on. Uh, so I'm going to call this one uh, OK. It's working uh, successfully. Uh, now I'm going to try another one. OK, I used that camera there to record this camera that I'm holding right now uh, because it did work and I'm going to um, call that one good. I'm going to try and stitch together the videos to show you uh, in one video um, <laughs> it's getting a little bit complicated but we're gonna call that one good and try the next one okay so what I found out on the first one is you have to go into your phone and use your phone Bluetooth settings and uh, searches to find the device uh, so let's try this next one it says VGate there. Of course, this one says VGate also, so, you know, it, it's getting kind of uh, hard to keep them all straight. But anyway, this one is bigger. This one's a mini size. This one is in between the two. Well, let's try this one and see what comes up. Okay, this is the second device. Let's just call this the big one. Uh, V-Gate the big one. The other one will be V-Gate the white one. Um, anyway, it's working and for all practical purposes it appears to have the exact same graphics as the first mini one that I used. Anyway, let's try V-Gate the white one. Well, the second one worked. I'm calling it V-Gate the big one. And uh, also it it paired up almost automatically. I didn't have to go through the uh, what I did on the first one. So I'm going to uh, try the white one now. V-Gate the white one. Okay, so this is V-Gate the big blue one. And uh, so far they both work. This one seemed to pair up easier. And this one is Erusun mini V gate. Yeah, I guess it's smaller. And this one also has a power switch on it, an external power switch on and off. And I think this one was the most expensive one. 
yeah, this was 18, 18 bucks, 11 bucks, and 12 bucks. Uh, and remember, as I told you, BAFX was dead on arrival. Uh, so let's try this one, and we'll see what we got. This is the one with the power switch on it, and I just turned it on. And let me get my mirror out, and I'll show you. I think. I don't know if you can see the lights. There. Yeah, you can see a blue light and a red light. Uh, let's. Uh, I'll try to connect and I'll switch to the other. Uh, switch to the other camera and uh, show you what I get. Well, that's that's the last one. I just tried it. I could not get it to pair. Um, this is the one I. You know, it's got power on off. I tried all different things. Power this first, power the phone first, uh, turn on torque, turn off torque. Just couldn't get it to pair. Um, the other two are working. And uh, so, and they seem to have exactly the same graphical uh, display. Which is kind of funny. I think this all this stuff probably gets copied in China and <laughs> resold on the internet. So that's what I've got for you. Now, step two, which is going to be a different video, is I'm going to try to get this working with another app on my phone called Harry's Lap Timer. Actually... I may try to get Harry's lap timer to connect with this one just for the fun of it. So let me give that a try. I'll have to plug it back in. Well, it seemed as though that I could connect the white V-gate sensor to Harry's lap timer, uh, but it didn't seem to want to connect to Torque. So I don't know where that leaves me. When I was in Harry's lap time, I couldn't really see data like RPMs or temperatures, but the Bluetooth part of it said it was connected. So um, I'm going to get one of the other ones, the big V gate or the mini, and see if I can connect those to Harry's lap time and see what happens there.